anthropologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee, sponsored by your Wisconsin Chevy Super Dealers. Well, we have reached the golden hour when everybody looks great and everything looks great, including some of the trees along the shoreline of Lily Lake here, just south and east of Green Bay. It's still officially summer, but there are definitely signs of fall in the air. You can see that several of the trees have already started to change. And speaking of fall, the autumnal equinox is at 7.43 a.m. on September 22nd. So the first official day of fall is Sunday. Hard to believe when you have temperatures like this feeling more like the middle of July. Most locations away from Lake Michigan in the mid to upper 80s earlier this afternoon. You can see a lake breeze moving west behind the temperatures have dropped into the 70s from Fond du Lac north to Oconto. But from Appleton into central Wisconsin, we have temperatures that are still in the lower 80s. Here is downtown Appleton, 82 degrees. The shadows are getting long in Green Bay. We've got clear skies and 79 with that southeast wind at around 10 miles per hour and a very comfortable dew point coming in at 55. High pressure has been our main weather maker for several days now. It is slowly moving away. We've got our next system pulling out of the northern Rockies. In between the high and the low, we have a southerly flow, and that means warm air pumping in from the south and west. Temperatures from Michigan back through the central and northern plains in the 80s and 90s today. And that means, yes, we've got more of this on the way. Tomorrow, temperatures once again in the mid to upper 80s, a good 15 to almost 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. Our normal high is now in the lower 70s. So Wednesday will be the eighth straight day with high temperatures in the 80s. We're going to start the day with tons of sunshine. You can see that here on SkyCast. The sunshine will continue all day long. So tomorrow looks almost like a carbon copy of what we saw today. And then as we head into Thursday, that next system moves in. Sunshine mixing with some clouds. A slight chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm as we move through the late afternoon or evening. Even with that small chance for some rain, temperatures are still, once again, going to make it feel like July with highs in the mid to upper 80s. Right now, September 2024 is tied for the fourth warmest on record through today. And although we are going to cool down as we head into next week. Overall, it looks like temperatures will remain above normal as we wrap up the month of September and head into October. So tonight, look for that full harvest moon and that partial lunar eclipse. Overnight lows will be in the mid 50s tomorrow. Another great day. My three degree guarantee is 86. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to New Community Shelter. And we did that the last time I had to work before I went to Yellowstone National Park. I forecast a high of 84 on uh, September 11th. The actual high was 81 degrees. Eighties continue into Friday and Saturday. Chance for a shower or thunderstorm once again late Thursday into mainly early Friday. Hopefully out of here before the game and then much cooler weather returns next week with a chance for some rain. We'll be right back.